Hello, I'm Bill Lakins and welcome back to my shop. For my next little project, I'm going to be making a Christmas tree bandsaw box. I'm going to be entering uh, Lanny Shaughnessy's A Simple Design of Ocala's uh, box for Christmas little contest. And since it's Christmas, I decided to do a Christmas theme and do a Christmas tree. And I've played around on the computer and come up with my uh, Christmas tree band saw box plan and we're going to see how that works and if we're going to make a Christmas tree got to make it out of pine and I've got this reclaimed pine 2x6 here I'm going to run it through the planer and clean it up and glue a couple pieces together and, uh, and start with that so let's get going Well, I've got two pieces of this wood cut. And I love taking an old wood like that and running through a plane. Man, it just comes up so beautiful and fresh cut looking. Uh, I'm going to put it together like this. Make two of these and glue them together. I'm going to put the rings facing each other. I hope that strengthens it. It's a bandsaw box. We'll see how it goes. So, put the glue on. on here you notice this cabinet right here I'm making me a wall hanging tool cabinet I'll get started on that again soon making some videos for that so you have to check those out I get this glued up for now so it will be ready Scrap on this end, a couple of hole fast. Come back with a couple of clamps on this side. Well, I'm back down here today. My blocks have glued up quite nicely. I just trimmed off the edges to clean it up a bit and make sure it's good and square. And I've got my fence set on my bandsaw here about three eighths of an inch. I'm going to slice the back of the bandsaw box off. So that's my next step. Okay, I got the back sliced off the box. Next, I'm going to attach the uh, pattern of the tree with some spray adhesive. that set a minute and I'll trim it out and then we'll start cutting out the uh, drawers for the box.
don't use my scroll saw very much, but uh, I think that worked a lot better than using the bandsaw. I can't, I can't make these tack curves on a bandsaw. I don't have a narrow enough blade right now. So that worked out good. So now that I've got these cut out, what i got to do now is glue the back back on. And that's why I've left the whole thing whole and I'll trim the outside out uh, after the back's glued up. Make sure I get that. I don't want to get the glue down in there where the drawers go, but I got to get right up to that edge. That's the important part because most of this will be cut away. Every time I cut this old pine that I've uh, planed down and glued up here, it just has a wonderful smell. Better than air freshener any day. Okay, put the bike back on, and we'll clamp him up. Okay, we'll let that set up overnight. Next time I come back, we will trim out around the tree. Uh, next, we start working on these little drawers here. Okay, now time to start on the drawers. What I have to do is slice off about a quarter inch on the front and the back side of the drawer. I'm doing that on the bandsaw. After looking at these drawers, normally I, I would cut out straight in from the top, but I'm not going to have much of an opening at all since this, these are tapered for the tree. So what I decided to do is leave the front full size so it will fill in the, uh, the rest of the box. And then for the drawer, I'm going to be cutting down quite a bit so it'll have more room. I may cut the back down as well, but I'll decide that when I get to that point. But I've just sketched in um, a basic inside door design, so I'm fixing to cut that out on the bandsaw.
I got all three of the drawers trimmed out, cleaned up the insides a little bit. Now I got to glue the front and backs back on. A little wood glue here. Okay, a little on the inside. I'm trying to keep that out of the inside best I can. All right, this comes in very handy to mark fronts and backs. because they can get twisted around very easily. Right, get it all lined back up. And use some of these little C-clamps here that usually are pretty much worthless. But here they work very well. Okay, all clamped up. Get the other two drawers done. As you can see, I've got the uh, the rest of the box gluing up. And next, I'll be leaving here shortly. And next day, I get in the shop. I will uh, clean up, finish cutting out the the box, and I will clean up these drawers a little bit and get them ready for finish. Well, my glue up went well. I've got all my little drawers glued up. Uh, what I'm going to be doing next is trimming out the outside of the tree. I went ahead and drilled, uh, took some forcing bits and drilled two holes here where these curves are. That'll help with that a little bit. I'm going to trim those out and then we'll take this paper off and start sanding. Okay, finished trimming out the tree here, and what I've done so far, the, the leftovers of the uh, pattern, I've soaked with some mineral spirits, letting it sit for a few minutes. I've got all the drawers and everything done, and after just a few minutes, the, the pattern just peels right off. Wipe a little excess glue off there, and they're ready to go. Let's see if I can peel the tree off here. Yeah, that mineral spirits just soaks that adhesive glue, just peels right off. But I'll finish peeling this off, and next I'll be sanding for a while. Each of the drawers are very snug because that uh, scroll saw I used, it did a very tight 
fit and it's kind of shrunk a little bit so I've got to sand everything get it smooth and make sure all the drawers fit in so that's next Well, I've taken my box, I've sanded it with the uh, random orbit sander and a lot of hand sanding using a 120 grit uh, to get in some of these tight grooves and inside the box, just a scrap piece of block with some sandpaper wrapped around it and an old broken dowel works great. And none of the drawers would fit, they were super tight, but I've worked on those, I've got them all fitting in there, still a little snug, but that's the way I want it. Uh, I'll take uh, 150 and then 220 get it up to that and then it'll be finishing time. Well everything sanded up to 220 the drawers slide in quite nicely I'm ready to start putting a little finish on here. Uh, it's a Christmas tree it's made out of pine I'm going to paint it green. Uh, I really don't want to paint it solid green I want to show some of this grain through here and I snuck in some of my wife's craft kit here got some uh, forest green craft paint and by itself on a little scrap here it's just too dark and it covers up everything but I've thinned it down with a little water and it uh, the uh, some of the grain sucks it in more than others but I think it's going to give it a nice little stropping effect on the tree so I'm going to start putting a little on here I'm just gonna, it's very thin so I'm just going to let it kind of soak in and then wipe the excess off here after it soaks in just like a stain I may come back and paint the base of it brown. Like a tree would have a brown trunk. You see we got a little green going on here. Let that soak in. Let's take a little quick peek at it. I'm going to have some of these little wild streaks here. I may come back and touch up those with a little darker green, but um, for the most part it gives it an interesting texture. So I'm going to finish up with this. Well, my green paint uh, dried up quite nicely, and I came back and painted the base a brown. And then, with my drawers, uh, I put those in, and I've added some uh, sequins for ornaments. And I had an old Mardi Gras necklace, and I cut a couple of beads off and glued them on for the pulls. It sort of looked like an ornament. And I think that's about as far as the decorating I'm going to go. Uh, what I'm going to do next is set these up here and spray it with some deft uh, lacquer give a little shine. Well, I'll let my lacquer dry up overnight and it looks pretty nice and shiny here. Uh, what I'm doing now is I want to put flocking inside the drawers. And I'm using blue because the first bandsaw box I ever did for my wife, she wanted blue, so we bought it and I've got enough flocking to last me for years. 
So what I've done, I've taped off around the edges where I don't want the flocking to go. I've already got the two smaller drawers done. And I'm putting on the flocking adhesive on the inside, which to me is just glue with blue dye in it. I always get the matching color of adhesive to go with the uh, flocking powder. And they've got all kind of colors. Just giving it a nice good coat inside. This is the final stage of the project here. When this dries up, I'll be it's done. Okay, looking in there, I see I've got it coated well. You don't want to miss any spots. All right, I'm going to get this out of the way. And I'll move the tree out of the way. I don't want any flocking in there. Now, to put the flocking on, uh, you get one of these little cans. It's called a mini flocker. A couple of holes in the top, and I've got a bunch of, the, of this uh, blue flocking material down in there. And I like to put it on a board or a big piece of paper or something like that. And then when it's all done, I can take it and shake it back in there and I can reuse it. But, um, get the little blocker can here. I like to call it a poofer can because that's what it does. Just kind of turn it up. And just kind of fluff it in there. Get it covered all the angles really well. And this stuff does go everywhere. Don't worry about getting excess in there. Get plenty, make sure it's covered. And I think I'm good. It sticks to that uh, adhesive really well. Um, what I will do, I'll peel the tape off here in a, in a few minutes, just let it sit just shortly, and then I will uh, let let it set up. And when that's done, I will come and shake out the excess. So don't forget to get the flock out of there. And then we'll call this uh, project a wrap. My bandsaw Christmas tree box is complete. Uh, everything's all done. Uh, all the drawers are ready. I've got the flocking inside. It's nice and dry. Took my air hose and blew out the, a little bit of the excess after I shook out some of the other. Uh, but they're all ready to go. And I got a few decorations on here. I decided not to decorate the sides of the back. I just want a little bit on the front. But these uh, little uh, beads here make good little handles. So I got three nice little drawers here. And you can see all around it there. But happy how it turned out. It's just a quick and simple little project there, a little bandsaw box we'll just pull out at Christmas time. So uh, if you decide you want one of these, it's simple to make and I suggest you try one. Merry Christmas.